In the last video, we learned how to set up send return effects, and we saw how Reason pretty much automates the process for you. We saw that we could add reverb and delay to any sound in our mix just by setting up a simple send and return. We actually set a couple up and added it to the main vocal. I'll be adding some of these effects to other vocals to get the mix sorted, and you'll hear that in the final, the final result at the end. Um, but for now, we're gonna concentrate on insert effects. Now, the difference between send and return effects is that sends send off a portion of the signal and a portion of it comes back into the mix as the return. So this gives you quite a lot of control over the level. If you want something a little bit more extreme and direct, then you're gonna need an insert. Now, an insert is exactly what it sounds. It's inserted into the signal itself. Now, inserts are applied a little differently, but you can use the same effects. Uh, the insert controls are here, and you'll see that they're blank for every channel at the minute, and that's because it's non-loaded. As soon as we load an insert, key controls will automatically be mapped to these knobs. So let's have a look at how we can add an insert. Now, I'm going to add something to the main synth here, uh, maybe a chorus effect. Let's have a listen. This is the chorus synth. Might be quite nice to have a phaser or a flanger at some point added to that. So let's try adding it now. And we're going to go to the rack with the rack shortcut here. And there's our main synth audio uh, part or module. And we're going to open it up and it's, we're going to click on show insert effects. Now at the minute it just looks like a tiny little gap. But if we right click within that gap, we can then go to effects and we can choose any of the effects available. Let's go with unison. That might be quite cool. And there's a simple unison unit. We've got a dry wet control on most of these effects, so it's great for using them as inserts. Let's go with eight voices. And um, we'll listen to that in isolation. We can solo it from here. Let's go with 16 voices. Hmm, I think I want something a bit more intense than that, so let's delete that. It's going to ask us if we want to delete the device. We'll say yes, and we'll try again. So we'll go with effects, and we'll go with a phaser. Okay, so this looks a little different. That's pretty cool. Let's hear that in the mix. Nice, and it's really easy to add an insert, and it's that simple. So let's move on and have a little bit of a look at the routing section at the top of the channel strip here.